Hello, Internet people. It's me, Chef Lethal, here with episode, for real, 78 of Resonant Rise 3. Hey, what'd you guys think of that new intro, huh? I thought that was pretty sweet. Spent a lot of my day today trying to figure that out and work it out, and I think it came out pretty well. Um, if I seem a little bit lower key than normal, it's because it's not my typical recording time and my wife is in the other room and I don't want to embarrass myself talking about Minecraft. <laughs> Just kidding guys, but seriously. Uh, I do have a few things that I wanted to go through today with you. Um, first thing is I found out that you can name your travel anchors and I knew you could, I just didn't know how, and I, I finally have a Yetta wrench, or I have started to use it, and I have figured out that you just, like, shift right click it with the Yetta, or left click it with the Yetta wrench, I think. Let me just check that out. Left click with Yetta, right click. Right click with the Yetta wrench and you can rename it whatever you want, so that's pretty cool. So I've got crafting, and I've got spawn room, I've got the armory down there, Got my Britannia room, and I've got Cropig. <laughs> Every time I hit E, uh, it it brought me out of the thing, so I, I, it's, it's just Cropig. <laughs> but uh, let me show, oh, let me show you the Britannia room. So today I put a dome on top of the Britannia little tower thing, and that is <laughs> diamonds and purple obsidian. Yes, my friends, this is all diamond blocks because <laughs> I am an opulent sob. Um, oh, and there's something down there that we're gonna do. So let me take off this ring, because this is going to cause me some problems, I think. But, uh, so I made some hydroanges uh, for, for some mana production, because I think I'm going to need a bunch of it. Um, so these guys are cool. I saw this on Brink the Gamer's uh, Let's Play. So these hydroanges, I'm just going to say hydroanges, uh, suck up this water, are supposed to suck up this water, and then they produce mana. And then it gets sent over here. And uh, I think this whole setup is working. I can probably get rid of these day blooms. These day blooms probably not working. <laughs> um, but I wanted to, I have uh, seven hydrangeas here, and I need to make eight. So I wanted to make one while I have you guys here, just to show you how it's done. So I got all the things ready on me right here. So it is, and I'll just describe them as I throw them in. It's a blue mana petal, a cyan mana petal, a mystical blue petal, a pink petal, and two cyan petals. With the seed, bam, give us that hydrangea, and then we can throw this guy right here. Right? Yeah, I think th them being this close, it, it doesn't like it. The game doesn't like it very much. They um, It actually like decreases the efficiency of it, I think. But um, is this even working? I know in his Let's Play, in Brink's Let's Play, it's like... These things just constantly slurping. I don't hear anything. I don't know. I don't want to go messing around with my sounds because I think they're at a pretty decent level. So I think this is working. Um, I don't know where that mana just went. So these are... Where'd they all go? Where are they going? <laughs> um, I think this is a decent setup. I may need to... Um, that's about, I don't know what I need to do. I feel like this is working. Maybe it's not. I have no idea. Um, so guys, let me know. Give me some advice here. Uh, should I, should I really just take this out, these endo flames, and maybe just have a hydrangea set up here, and maybe take this whole system out? and have a hydrangea system, like maybe two up here producing. I may even be able to fit three, but at least two. Uh, is this setup even good? Like, I, I read a little bit on the, the portal to Elfheim or something, and I need a ton of mana, so I don't really know what kind of mana production I have right now, if this is anything decent, but uh, let me know what you guys think if I need to expand this or what. Uh, I did show I got this working. I made a little bit more Terra Steel. Uh, nothing really worth writing home about, but uh, I have nine ingots now, um, so I know I can make, uh, I think I can make the block, the, the thing, it's like the uh, the core or something, 
Am I right? What was that? Yeah, the Elven Gateway Core. So I've got the Living Wood. So I got I got a little bit of work to do, but I got a little bit done too, which is pretty cool. And then I want to show you something else I'm working on. And something that we're going to work on a bit today, I think. Let me just make sure that Matt's grinder is still there. Very good. What's on fire? <laughs> I love it. Uh, so here's the bar, guys. And we don't come down here very often. And that's that's a shame. It's one of my, my few, like, almost complete completed rooms. Got my statues down here that we never see. I need to go back. I've been really procrastinating on going back and um, redoing these statues here. Uh, if you're wondering what these statues are, if you're new to my series, or if you've just been uh, lazy or neglecting, uh, these guys are fellow subscribers, and they have left me comments in one form or another of their in-game Minecraft name, and they are now in my world forever. Uh, they let me know where they wanted to be and what they wanted to do for the most part, and I accommodated. So check it out. Uh, and, you know, I've got the two up there, or the several back at the front of the house. But, um, yeah, if you are interested, just leave me a comment, and uh, I need to go back and fix these guys. But we are down here for a reason. So check this out. You ready? You ready? I don't know if you're ready. I don't know if you're ready for this jelly. Boom. Secret room! How cool is this? Uh, so let me show you. This is just regular... Um, just, uh... Like, regular Minecraft... <laughs> um, T-flip-flop situation here. So the, this is the red alloy wire. And I've got it going to this whole deal. Goes under the ground. And over to my drawbridge block that I have from Tinker's Construct down there. And these are really cool lava stones. Uh, I kind of like it. It actually gives off light, too. Uh, so that is pretty nifty. Um, actually, I don't think I have any. Uh, oh, I do. Let's uh, let's go ahead and do something like that. And that should go ahead. And there. Boom. Cool. So what I was thinking about doing is changing that. <laughs> All right. So what I was thinking about doing is making this the blood altar room. Um, because I, 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 I'm i kind of getting caught up on Brink the Gamer's stuff, and I feel like I'm copying him now, but it was mentioned to me in my live stream from Captain Horf that I should get into... One, two, three, four, let's do one more. Uh, that I should get into um, Blood Magic, because it is really cool. And using it with Botania, you can do some pretty OP things. And I kind of like OP, so we are going to investigate things and see what kind of trouble we can get ourselves into. Um, so I, uh, let's go three and then we, boom. I'm going to have to make this room wider. I already know this is way too, way too narrow. What is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, no, 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 no. We do not do things evenly. <laughs> we have to be oddballs here. <laughs> Somebody quote that, please. Um, so I don't really know. Um, I don't think there's any in-game um, documentation as far as blood magic is concerned. Uh, it's really just a matter of, I guess, what I've seen online. Um, so... Now we have to build an altar and a sacrificial, like, knife or something like that. Um, so let's, let me just finish up this floor here and then we will go back to the, the main room and see what we can do. But I think this is pretty cool, um, this block type here. Uh, I may need to break it up a little bit. Like, oh, that's kind of neat. Hmm. I don't know. It's pretty cool, though. It definitely would... It removes the need for, uh, like, torches or anything like that. So that's pretty cool. I might do something different along the top here. Um, I doubt it. But... Let me at least get this done. One, two, three, four... Oh, that was a creeper face! One, 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 one. One, 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 one. Perfect. 
Cool. So I may have the walls something like that. And uh, let's go back. Ah, oh, I love it. That's so cool. And it works! <laughs> uh, so uh, if you guys remember, you loyal few that have stuck around since the beginning, is I was trying to originally get a drawbridge here uh, so that this wouldn't just be open. It would be a hidden door. And I wanted a hidden doors everywhere, but that never really uh, panned out. That never really happened. So, oh, look at all these materials. <laughs> uh, cool. Uh, yeah, let's get rid of the lava stone right now. So, it's it's an altar. Yeah, that's what we need. And I should be able to just... That's really cheap. Uh, and I know we're going to need all these slates as well. But that's, that's not until later. I'll probably want to put a travel anchor in the room here. Um, so let's see, just for starters, just for starters, we will plop this guy right here. Oh, you know what? I should have made the knife. There's a sacrificial... <laughs> Not creative. Yeah, it's probably this. Yeah, that's what it is. And, of course, I need to go back to make it. Uh, sacrificial... So this is a mod I didn't think I was going to get into, but then I saw kind of how easy it is, and I don't really know all the details about it, but it looks pretty cool. It looks pretty cool. I don't know really what the end game of it is, but, um, whoops. Um, okay. So does this tell me... Okay, no. Oh, this uses up hunger like crazy, doesn't it? Um, so I don't know what that equals or anything like that, uh, but I can <laughs> probably just grab a handful of these here re regen potions and just, oh, if I throw that, that's going to, and then maybe some healing potions. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's, and then let's grab a few of these as well. So go like that, and just... Um, heal me. Ooh, these, these are terrible. These are really, really bad. How long's my regen for? So that actually gets me up quite a bit. I'm surprised. Pretty impressed. So I go like that, and then just... Do-do-do. So I'm just right-clicking right now. I guess I don't have to stand. I wonder what the radius is. There's one block. Okay, so that still works. Two blocks? That still works. Three? Alright. Pretty cool. Regen over. Splash. Did I get rid of all my health potions? I did. Uh, that's okay. Oh, let me uh, eat also. My super saturating food. I know I can use my healing axe too. Uh, that will come shortly, don't you worry. That's the wrong thing. Um, wait, what am I doing? Let's go like, nope, flip it. Let's go like that. Go like this, and stone. I needed, uh, I need just regular smooth stone. I think I just made about 2,000 of it. There we go. So what I should be able to do is go like this. Is that working? How long does this take? There. That worked. How do I get it back? Empty hand? Yes. Okay. So... Um, I am going to have to research how to automate the collection of life force. Um, but now that I have this slate, I need to figure out, um, what I can do with it. Like, what is the imbued slate? 
I need a tier 3. What about this? I need a tier 2. So what can I do with this? I can make it into a soul branch, a lava sigil, blood letters pack. <laughs> this pack really chafes. Speed rune, or that. I can throw it in. I don't have that yet. Blood tank. Interesting. Water sigil, divination. I think I need the divination sigil. Okay, so it looks like I need a blood orb. <laughs> so I just need to throw a diamond in there. Okay, I have a few. Uh, so let's grab you. Ugh, this whole empty hand thing, I hate it. There. So that should go. And let me just go ahead and wreck myself. <laughs> Why not? And eat up. And hit the regen. Oop. Come on, turn already. Yes, yeah, so that's crazy, man. That makes you super hungry. Alright. Come on. I had not anticipated on this taking so long. Um. Yeah, so, oh, so I needed to check... Okay, so here are my chunk boundaries. Uh, let's go like this. Uh, yeah. Okay, so that's that boundary. So this should be, well, it's not going to be 16, but I need, oh, here we go. I needed to know where that boundary is because I need to put a spot loader in here. Okay, so I have... A interesting. Uh, stop it. Cool. I now have a blood orb, which is probably the creepiest thing I've ever said. <laughs> uh, let's go. No, let's go. Crafting room. Okay. So it was the divination. Not to be confused with the. Um. Division sigil, divination sigil. Uh, this should this should tell me how much force I have in here. Capacity ten thousand. I have eighty three fifty four. So I can go one two three. Now what? Eighty nine fifty four. Um, what about now? Okay. It has 10,000. Very good. And then let's eat. Okie dokie. So, I have to figure out a way. Uh, there, I know there are, there are ways that I can get Mobs to give me life essence. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know how to do that. Uh, I need to figure that out. Um, hmm. Yeah, that'll probably be for the next episode. Um, just simply because I don't. I don't really want to wait right now and figure it out. Um, okay, so. One thing that I did see as an option is I could use item... Well, no, that'll only allow me to do 10, because I don't have any life force. Uh, let's see, there's really no... Oh, there's no book or anything like that here to guide me. I'm going to have to use the wiki, it looks like. There's some cool armor. Look at that. That's pretty neat. So I'm I'm thinking I smell live stream material here to, to figure out. Ask me about my puns. Oh my gosh. Uh, but yeah, I see this as um, 
live stream material just because I don't know what I'm doing and I need to research. I should have researched this before I started. So that's my fault. <laughs> I heard an explosion, so I need to go check. All right, everything's okay. Everything's fine. Let me grab a sword while I'm in here. And these guys. Oh my goodness, get out of here. These guys and their cobwebs driving me crazy. Uh, but what I think I want to do uh, in the future is make a bigger Cursed Earth room, possibly, or at least another one, I think. Uh, I think that would be a good use of my resources. Uh, but, speaking of resources, I want to show you in here, in the compact machine. Yes, that was English. Times it. Okay. Um, so check it out. I have made some progress here, or I guess the machine has. I'm up to sextuple, uh, and this thing's just cooking, cooking right along, going fast mode. I've got it down to be able to make up to septuple, and this thing takes a long time. Down to two and a half, two point five million uh, cobblestone from the deep storage unit, and one thing that's pretty crazy is that one octuple compressed cobblestone is about five million. Check this out. Uh, is it? No, it's octu... No, octu... Yeah. So it's basically pitch black. Oh no, one octuple is 43 million cobblestone. I don't have that much cobblestone. That's one. That is so crazy cool. Um, pretty, pretty insane, if you ask me. Uh, but other than that, no changes in here. I have no other reason to be here. So get me out. So I'm wondering, blood tank, I don't know, I don't know you guys, I don't know. So let's take a peek what's going on up here. I noticed a lot of my hose were broken and all these crops were just sitting here doing nothing. So now we've got unbreaking three hose all around. So that's pretty neat, I'm pretty happy about that. Um, yeah, looking good, looking good. We've got the cow essence, we've got the diamonds. This should have spread. Yep, yeah, we're good. That looks good, that looks good. Jaded amaranthus, everything. Look at this, man. We're doing, we are doing all right, you guys. Uh, let's see. So let's zip that back down here. Let's see. So let's get rid of that. I was thinking I would just let that. Botania set up, go, the Jaded Amaranthus, until I got over a thousand of everything. It looks like I'm pretty much around 1,300, 1,400 of everything. So that's pretty good. Um, yeah. Blood magic. Um, tell you what, I hate to cut this short, but I think I'm going to. Um, yeah, I mainly wanted to just bring you guys in test out my new intro, show you my, my awesome redstone skills <laughs> uh, for for this room. I think I'm... I don't know. This floor is kind of trippy. I may change it. I may not. I probably won't. But, um... Yeah, so this room will be this long, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... 9, 10, 11. Did I count that right? Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yes. So the room will be here. Um, and I'll even make it from here because this is a chunk boundary right here. So here going forward. Yeah. Yeah, I think that'll be all right. But anyway, guys, I, I do think I'm going to cut this episode a little bit short. Uh, I know last episode was pretty long, actually. I saw, I was like, oh my gosh. Uh, but I had to I had to get it out. And I couldn't cut it because of the derps. <laughs> but anyway, I want to thank you all so much for watching and all of your support and all of your everything. Um, you guys are awesome. Let me know... Um, 
if my Batania setup is cool or if you think that I should expand it or if I need to do something else a little bit more in order to get um, the things and the stuff that I'm going to need. Um, other than that, I'm going to do a little bit more work in here. I'm definitely going to research um, the blood magic stuff a little bit more because I am completely lost. I don't know. It's kind of my fault I didn't look into it so much before I started doing it. But uh, what can you do? <laughs> anyway, guys, I want to thank you again, and I will see you all next time.